Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with green leaf this week. Welcome back to uh. Calvary. Listen, <laughs> the church is in got no one trouble, so what I need y'all to do, we need to get the membership up. They're trying to kick the bishop out and everything. So now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can get our church membership up. We don't need more than the church. We need to go on a <laughs> Daniel fast, man, for 21 days. Get some turn around. Go ahead and rate, rate the video thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs down. It doesn't even matter at this point. You've already been counted. Listen, hunty, listen. The end, the end is, is near. near. We feel uh, it. Yeah. We yeah. definitely feel it. A whole bunch of y'all was hitting me up last night on Twitter. Was like, listen, you y'all need to record tonight. My uh -huh. girlfriend Nicole that be down in the um, comments. She was like, you need to call in to work. <laughs> I because thought about it too, Nicole. I said, sounding what good. What the hell? It's going on. So, I'm going to go with the kind of not juicy parts kind of first. And then I'm going to hit y'all with the ooh wee and the I told y'all so. Huh? Somebody run me my god doing chat. Okay, Isaiah is cheating on Zora. Who cares? Not me. Moving on. Um, Darius, we still got our good eye on him. Yeah. Because we still don't know he really, really staying at it all. Yeah. But somebody said in our comments, and I gave it some thought, but I didn't give it no thought. Um, what if Coochie Cross's sister was Darius's wife that passed away? Hmm. That is possible. It's very possible. It's very so all things are possible when it comes down to Greenleaf. Hello. At this point. At the non <laughs> denomination church. Okay, Gigi is confronting her father about Miss Coochie Cross and all the information that she found out about. And he is still Fighting with her about what she has come up with. No, Talking about some no, 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 no. no, no, no. She a virtuous woman. <laughs> Say what? Seriously, Bishop? Virtuous. I, I, had, to, I had to think of, but go back to what the proper description was. I had to think about it. I said, uh, I can see, I don't, I, I can see, I can see the business, but everything else, <laughs> that ain't, that ain't, ain't lining up. That ain't her. So, I mean, even the pictures, all that, he, he don't want to hear none of it. Basically, he said, don't come to me no more, Gigi, with the bull skip. And then, and then he kept on talking about, so why would she be helping me like this? If she was really Daryl James' daughter, why is she helping me with my IRS stuff? And I'm like, Bishop. Come on now. I know that they, they won't slick like that back in y'all day, but they slick like that now. Yeah. Come I mean, on. they had a level of slickness back then. But it ain't like today. I mean, because people will help you out to sock it to you later, man. Certainly in the church. You got to win the trust. You got to trust me first before I sock it to you. Yeah. You got to let your guards down, man. So at the very moment that he's still fussing with Gigi, the FBI busted. It was almost like Gigi was like, I freaking told you so. Oh, uh, here they go. So they came in and they seized all of the computers. They want to look through every freaking thing. Now, this is what had me cracking up. Charity. Oh, my God. My sheet music is my on sheet, there. Huh? I, I need, need I need. <laughs> Lady May said, Charity, oh. out of all the bullshit that you see going on around this church right now, you worried about your goddamn music. We don't music. care nothing about no sheet music. Sheet music ain't going to help us right now. <laughs> God darn it. First Lady said, why don't you grow up? Find some business about yourself, and why don't you just find a way to be helpful around here for in once? The, in this emergency situation. I said, oh, okay, tell she Charity how down. you really feel. Yeah. So Charity took that thing to heart, and she noticed that one of the FBI agents, he had a little, little eye for her, and Charity is a good-looking woman. So she used that to her benefit, and I said, it's about time, Charity, that you use what you got yeah. to get what you want. So she basically told this man... Listen, I know you're not uh -huh. supposed to help me out like this, but listen to me, listen to me clear. That PK thing is for real. <laughs> I try my best to live a holy life, save, sanctify, Holy Ghost, feel, speaking in tongues, five baptized, all of that. But back in my day when I was trying to find myself, yeah, I took some risque pictures. Of you know, I signed up and was working for Playboy and, about six months. <laughs> and those pictures are not on my computer because my mama paid a check and she made all the booze get go away. But the pictures is on her computer. I said she, he don't got him, got him, because he think because he want to see the pictures. He want to see the pictures. I want to see what's on there. <laughs> so he was like, you know, I had to clear by my boss because 
we don't usually let people go into the computers and pull he stuff out. Clear nothing. He ain't cleared nothing. He just disappeared for a few hours. <laughs> and we're looking for the picture. Uh huh. <laughs> well, come find out when he came back. He came back with a folder, and he was like, "Charity, there was never any pictures, but I do have what you were looking for." And he actually gave her the files, the PowerPoint presentation files yeah. that Lady May was going crazy over because she done wrote her sermon out and all that. If you Holy Ghost feel for real, why you got a sermon written down like that? But anyway, but, uh, <laughs> that's a whole nother topic right now. That's down. a whole nother topic. Y'all over there buying them sermons off the internet for nine ninety nine dollars or going to the Bible bookstore and buy them. They are in the Bible bookstore. So they when you hear your pastor, oh, never mind. Nope, nope, nope. Ain't going <laughs> <ain't gonna> to <laughs> do that. So at this time, Gigi was like, hold on. Let me get my people to try to tell us. What the heck is going on? Because you know the FBI, they're all about just seizing. They ain't trying to tell you skit. They gonna yeah, look at uh -huh. food, but they're not trying to tell them that. So Gigi got the same, I think it's the same lawyer that Cor that's working with Cora Lee. Yeah, that's, yeah, that same dude. And he came over, actually got Jacob and Bishop and all of them in the same room, and was like, listen, <laughs> what had happened was, both of y'all got tricked by y'all side pieces. Yeah, say them hoes got y'all. <laughs> Money was in account A. Money moved all the way over here down to account B. Money went all the way over here to account C that had Bishop's name on it. And then account C, the money was taken out and given to the, the IRS. IRS. Freaking mail fraud. Yup. And they was like, so Bishop was like, ho, 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 ho. Bishop said, this, 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 this is my account. This my money manager. Yeah, uh -huh, my money let me, manager. Let me show you on my app. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm having a little technical difficulties. Say no, no. <laughs> and Jake, he over there telling Jacob, you over here just signing documents and you don't know what you opening up. And he was like, but you got somebody over here giving you an app. <laughs> yeah, giving you an app. <laughs> <laughs> and don't flip the whole lot of money for you in a little bit of time. I was like. But we said Jacob was dumb. You signing papers without looking at them. That's, that's like, that's like life 101 that you don't sign nothing before you read it. And as much as we say that, some of us still do it. I've been guilty. Sometimes you'd be like, I know what the hell they say. Just sign and go. But let me say what I really mean. You a pastor, you don't <laughs> sign shit until you read it. <laughs> That's so, what I So at this point, the Green Leaf men know that they got to get their side pieces on the line to figure out what the hell's going on. So Bishop been trying to call um, Cooch Cross. Cooch Cross ain't answering no goddamn phone nah. calls. Jacob is trying to call um, Keisha Cole Skanks. Mm -hmm. He finally did get her on the line, but of course, she's in that, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, this, uh, that, because Basie is sitting right there. So, of course, she's not going to say nothing because he's nope. sitting right there. So, he didn't kill her last week, y'all. So, Gigi knew to pull up. Gigi went and pulled up on Coochie Cross, and she was like, listen, <laughs> the FBI don't came up and through the church. What do you have going on? I know who you are, and I'm not about this kind of life. Basically, try me, knock if you buck. Now, this is where Rochelle got me. Hmm. She was like, Grace, I'm not here for your PTSD antics yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> and all of the stuff that you have going on on the inside of you, your unresolved issues with your father, your unresolved issues with your mama. And I'm not about to play mommy to you, but last night when I'm laying in your father's bed, we are talking about the future. So this, I said, I said the ginger said in my father's bed. bed? Like, what? I said, oh, he put the tip in. He put the tip in. That's the and first she thing said, I thought about And she sounded real convincing when she said it too. Yeah. Because they was over there all hugged up drinking that, drinking that wine. So you know what that do to you. I said, Bishop, no, you didn't. So Gigi goes back to talk to her father. And she was like, did you sleep? He was like, no. No. I said, well, that's what she got doing. Just told me. He Bishop, said, I'm going to put it into this. Once and for. <laughs> Cause I'm most sick of both of y'all. He goes over there and confronts Coochie Cross, and she had a thin line between love and hate thing going on. She had me had me thinking, be like, wait a minute, did and she? Who who's lying? Yeah, here? what's going on? I know, I know what I saw, but she's so convincing though. So she was. He was like, why did you tell my daughter that we slept together? Said, cause we did. Cause he we said, did. you know that didn't happen. And she was like, yes, it did. And I'm saying, you're like, 
And uh, he said, and I gave you the investment money and all that. She said, what investment? So I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, Bishop, because I don't mix business with pleasure. I'm like, yes, you did. And I said, oh, she think he's wearing a wire. That's what I, that's the only thing that I could think of. She think he's wearing a wire. So she's saying all the pertinent um, answers that somebody on the other end can actually say that her story is the real story. Yeah, I didn't think about truth. that. So yeah. I said, okay, I got you, Coochie Cross, because I was getting ready to have a whole moment. I said, okay, whew, he didn't put tip him. Now, Darius, he over there, he wants to get Gigi to answer a few questions on the record. I can't cover no. the story because of conflict of interest, but I sure can get my colleagues to do so. What? Gigi went clean off. Oh yeah, she was smooth. So he's smooth. trying to use this opportunity when I'm going through crisis and you trying to get paid. Come on now. Hey. It's it's a lot. Y'all pray for our church, man. Oh my God. But I think I think Basie and and and, and Coochie Croston did this scheme before. Mm -hmm. Cause they they're a little too good at what they doing, man. It's all calculated. How they got him like that. It's and, a lot. And then he had a nerve to walk back in the picture as if he ain't the dead kid. That's the part that got That's, me. I'm pissed off. Pissed off. I was like, wait a minute. You coming to her like that. You disappear. You talking to your sister, but you ain't communicating with her. Talking about some, I ain't wanting the people to know about where I was at to cover you. I'm like what? But you leave your wife out there for the wolves. And, and now. And Jacob was about to eat her up. Exactly. <laughs> And now you find out about Jacob kissing her now, you only know what to do. Yeah, he losing his goddamn mind. So he at the house telling his wife, tell me what y'all did. Tell me the truth. And she was like, it was nothing. It was nothing but a kiss. And he don't believe her. He believed that it went a little further than that. Over at the house, Clarissa is telling Jacob, you got feelings for her. You do. I can tell by the way you act. And I said, he really do. He do have a soft yeah. spot. For her. And he was like, yeah, I love her in a godly Christian way, but not like that. Stop lying, Jacob. <laughs> so, Basie is on the phone with Coochie Cross, and Coochie Cross is basically telling him, look, listen, get, he knows. It's all out there now. So, they having a little conversation among themselves. And Keisha Cole Skanks is on the phone, and she calls Jacob. And she was like, Jacob, I'm scared. Basically, these crazy motherfuckers about to do something to me. Yeah. And I need you to meet at the spot. First of all, what the hell is the spot? Yeah. What spot do they have? But she said, I'm going to text you. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. what, what's all this about? Because where he was at was strange. Very strange. That's what I said. Where's the spot? <clears throat> yeah. So, hey, y'all been... Been... Been meeting. So Clarissa went ahead and let her man go, which was stupid to me because even if she desperate at this moment, but she should have stayed in the car, be close by. How many? She ain't watched the ID channel. She might have. She might have been in the car. All that. So you better be close, and your Glock better be close off. But ain't who? That's just how <laughs> I roll. Um. So Jacob ends up at the spot, and he's looking at his phone, trying to get in touch with Kishko Skanks. And ain't nothing being exchanged because Basie walks up. And he was like, Brother, yeah. wasn't this, you wasn't <laughs> expecting me. And then he's like, you know what? <clears throat> what happened between you and, my, you and my wife? And Jacob goes with the same story. Nothing. It was nothing but a kiss. It meant nothing. Some Another man's nothing is another mm -hmm. man's everything. everything. I said that was kind of deep. That's why I like Basic. Uh -huh. Basic says some, say some shit, deep stuff. And you be like, we know it's bullshit, <laughs> but, but it was deep. But though. it was deep. So basically, he was like, um, "Don't call my wife no more, cause um, I got a phone. I got a phone." And I said, "Did he do something to that girl before he left the house?" Yeah, and she did. Because the first of all, I was like, "How in the world did he know that they was beating up over there?" But it made yeah. sense when he pulled a phone out. He went through her phone. And I said, he probably did something to that girl. We probably ain't going to. Somebody <laughs> said she going she gonna to end up stanking in a minute. And she might already be there. So y'all pray. Put her on the prayer list. Because I don't have time to funeralize her. I don't. <laughs> and T.I. going to be the Paul Barrel. But anyway. <laughs> so over at the church. That wasn't right. <laughs> that wasn't right. I've never said I was a right individual. Nah. But anyway. I like it though. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that loves me do. So over at the church, Deacon is kind of Deacon. Kinda. She getting on my nerves too. She, she rocking around like her skit don't stink. But Deacon kind of said, "Listen, Bishop, we, we ain't fitting to do, 
is have all this bullshit going on in this church right here. What I have done, I have got that's the God don't deacons for you right there, boy. I don't lined up a guest pastor to come in here and be the interim for a little while until you and your only first lady can get y'all sit look, together. See that when they, when that part happened, I said that's the skit I don't like right there. <laughs> Is as long as his skit went public, he was perfect uh, for the church. He was good. He was good, but but the moment his stuff came out. Boom. Now all of a sudden he ain't good at and so at this point you think this other pastor is better because he don't have no public dirt out there. Cause I'm telling you right now everybody got something in their closet. Yeah. And so obviously y'all knew something was going on with Bishop them in the first place. Cause Deacon is kind of, with Deacon kind of she been yeah. having her eye on Bishop for a long time. Yeah. But my thing is the interim pastor he ain't skid either. Cause what I'm not gonna do. Is put myself in the middle of somebody else's skit while skits going on. First thing I would be like, you know what? I ain't coming up into another person's house and trying to figure out no best and try to clean this bull skit up. Yeah. Y'all deal with what y'all got going on. If you don't want him no more, you make sure that he's out and then maybe we can talk about me coming to sit in for a little while. Do that. Mm -hmm. But what I'm not gonna do is you ain't putting me in the middle of this. Yeah, and, and the and the most sad, the most sad part about this, and we should talk about this with our out. Our uh, former pastor is that people are quick to throw away pastors. They are. So you more you more concerned about the church image than this man's soul when he been caring about your soul all these years. All these years. And make sure you right. You coming there. You shouting off his sermons. He meeting with your family. Like I said he he helping y'all out. He there when when somebody passed away. But the moment his stuff goes public, I knew he wasn't as, real. And as if you got it all together. And we hold him a different accountability than you in the pews. If we all both be living to the Bible, it's all the same standard across the board. Yeah, Just that he decided to take a position, his calling, to help you understand where you're supposed to be in the Lord. Now, all of a sudden, when he don't line up, he the devil in your mind, like Mike B said, in your <laughs> mind, he got to go. And we said that they right. Yeah. We said that they made a mistake just like you But did it's very rare that you can find a church, we talked about this, that can restore a pastor. Yep. You throw him away first mm -hmm. before you restore him. Mm -hmm. And act like he never did anything for you or yep. she. Mm -hmm. Act like they don't get me started. Yeah. yeah. All right, so here we go with the juicy part. Listen. Huh? Now, Maxine, I told you Maxine is a little shady. I like Maxine a little bit more now because she's shady. But she is all about revealing truths and getting truths out there yeah. and dealing with stuff and da 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 da. Okay. Lionel still has been calling and May has been brushing this off. And Maxine said, listen, honey, what we not going to do is you trying to take over this church and you have this dark cloud hanging yep. over your freaking head. You know how the enemy works and y'all know how the enemy works too. <laughs> he will have this one thing over your head yep. and the higher you elevate, that dead gon thing comes right up underneath for you, and yep. then when you get and when right you, here, and when you leave your speck, it come out. Boom. And she said, "This is not Just like what now. you want." Just like now with the IRS. Yes. Yep. This ain't what you want. What you want to do is you get ahead of your own dirt, so you can tell your story the way you need to tell it. Get it behind you, so you can have control over it instead of it having control over you. Yep. Lady May was like, "Listen, I don't mm -mm, no. What we not gonna do is send him to heaven." with a clean slate and leave me down here with the bullshit. <laughs> and in a way, I kind of feel how she feel because I'm not for clear people to go to heaven. If you want it, <laughs> and I know that sounds bad, but I'm not for it. Yeah. Either you apologize to me when you on your flight to Miami, but don't apologize to me on oh, your you flight to hell. Yeah, exactly. So that I can change your but ticket then, over to go to heaven. But then usually, not. About 85, 75, 85% of the cases is like that though. When well, they going to hell if they depend on me. Because <laughs> I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. I'm sorry. I'm not there. I'm not built like that. <laughs> they going. They going. I just thought about something. I just thought about something. What? You remember with the IRS situation. Which that, one? That, that, this with, one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not with us. Nah, we not with us. Yeah, we in the IRS situation. situation. I think it was Gigi, it was either somebody in the episode said that 
all the churches got something going on with the IRS, but they make an example out of our church to send yeah. a message to the rest of the church. But, Deacon, <laughs> Deacon, <laughs> you go and get another pastor that got some IRS issues too to come in and be the actual pastor. And steal y'all money. Yeah. Take my money. So that's what I'm saying. Everybody got a little bit of dirt. Some of y'all yep. got some mud, but a lot of us just got little sprinkles of dirt here. Exactly. Now. But they don't but they don't mitigate you to have the ability to help people's lives. So Lady May does not have she there is nothing in her mind that says I'm gonna confront this. Yeah. She 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 done made up in her mind that this ain't this ain't how it's gonna go. Yep. And then Aaron calls. And Aaron tells Lady May, said, Lady May, um, things ain't good right now. My father was trying another, you know, different form of chemo and he had a bad reaction and him gone. Well, in Lady May mind, oh, she, she said, off the hook now. She said, there are some secrets that go away with the grave and the Lord would do a washing through death. I said, booze, get. There Did we you go again. really do that though? Did you really say that? And you want to become the pastor of the church and you saying that? Seriously. Huh? So she, she still, now she really ain't trying to confront this thing. But oh, there was a ram in the oh, freaking yeah. book. And I had a feeling that was going to happen too. Now Cause, I do have cause, a... Because Lionel, Lionel knew it was going to happen. So he had his ram in the bush. Now didn't he? Huh? He said, if you don't tell it, let me tell it. You think I'm going to leave about here and you're going to live in peace while I, I cross the other side when I tried to make peace when we was here? That's what them are. Yep. <laughs> Either he was going to do it that way or he was going to write it I'm in right the wheel. wheel. He sure was. Yep. And you never know. He so might. most skit might come out. So we saw Aaron. <clears throat> And Aaron walked up in Gigi's office and he had that look at Gigi. Was I like, said, oh, hell. you look like Skip. And he was like, my father just passed away. So she was like embracing him, you know, giving him a hug and whatnot. Now I got a problem with over there at Calvary. They got a whole lot of people just walking up and in and out of there. Yeah. Well, Where's this, the armor barrels at? I mean, in this case, everybody's trying to run for their life because they don't want to go to jail. So Aaron said, we need to talk about something. And when they cut scene, I said, oh, why you just didn't leave me in the conversation? I yeah. want to hear. Yeah, him telling it. Him yeah. tell her what daddy told him. Because I know daddy probably put a whole lot on it. Because when you get ready to die, it's all out there. He was like, he probably said, everybody think it was that one time on vacation. I've been smashing Lady May for about yeah. five years. Yeah, we did it on the Carnival Cruise. We did it in <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> we did it even at their house. Yep. And she would try to smash me when we was old. When I could and, and, Bishop, and Bishop was at the house when we did it. Mm -hmm. so she thought, he thought she was over there washing her hands. And she th thought I was in the room. Nah, we was over in the corner getting it in. You know, when people die, they're going to say all that. So we saw Gigi walk up on her mama. Because her mama's still trying to prepare for this. She changes everything. I don't care. Everybody get ready to go to jail. But we're going to have this service. And she's over there checking sound. She got her PowerPoint presentation. She making sure everything go. And Gigi said, Mama, is Lionel my father? And she said, I don't um, know. I said, here we go. And walked off. And walked off. Gigi, if you don't grab her by her lace front. See, this is the problem that I had right here. That's what them old people do, man. You've been giving her skit ever since she's been back home. Every, thing, every little thing that she do, you on her hind paws. Now the truth finally comes out. And you still gonna give her some skit. When she ain't asked to be here. She, nope. she It wasn't her fault that you nope. had a fling with Lionel. Nope. And you hear this. I don't know how old Gigi is on there. But she old enough that you should have been told her. Been told her. But she said she didn't know. You did know. I can't. He, Cause even, this, look. Cause even she told uh, uh, Pastor pa Patterson that it within the time frame, it fits. It fits. And, and she said, and that could lead to a whole lot of um, this friction that I have with my daughter. So she finally admitted that a whole lot of the bullshit that she has with her daughter is a manifestation of her own guilt. Yeah. But it ain't her fault. 
So I want it, it made me think it made me think about this was that lady may have anything to do with Faith committing suicide that she putting pressure on Faith too. Cause what if Faith was Lionel's? Hey. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, cause she driving Gigi up the wall, so but we don't. Nothing. So we don't even know where Gigi gonna go from here. But you wait till Bishop find out. Oh. Gigi is his favorite daughter. Everybody try to say that parents don't have favorites. Yes, they do. So that's right. You both listen. That means she lied to Bishop too. All and told these all years. years. All these years. And now you're giving him skit. He on the phone trying to handle this stuff. You come and punch him in the chest and tell him to get on the phone and I'm trying to handle this skit. Bishop should go over to the house and change all the locks and lock her out too. Bishop just need to cut his losses and wipe his hands with Lady May and, and move on with his life. God dang it on. Y'all pray for our church, man. man. We, go, we got it. Man, I hope Bishop don't start serving weekends like that pastor did at that church I used to go to. <laughs> I think just tell him to tell the church that he on vacation. Well, they can't even tell him that. They got to tell the visitors that he on vacation like they told you. <laughs> Straight from the VA. <laughs> the dirty, dirty sound. Too, uh, too down. Holla. <laughs>